forever. I tell you what, last night I made a big old pot, simmering pot of chicken and dumplings. Mm -hmm. I made a fire in the fireplace. Mm -hmm. I curled up on the sofa, maybe with an adult beverage after maybe. dinner, <laughs> and I watched some television I'd been putting off watching that I was saving on demand. Nice. It was a lovely, lovely, relaxing mm -hmm. evening, and Meredith Lawrence is here with 88 recipes to help get us started with more of evenings just like that. Right, but over 180 different ways to make those recipes. So now they turn into a whole lot more, well, which exactly, is so exciting. Exactly, because you see, I'm so excited about cooking on the stovetop on the oven because I've been doing it my whole life, but we all have favorite appliances that sometimes make things faster or more convenient or just help us out when it's too hot and we don't want to put our ovens on. So these recipes, all made in a standard kitchen, but you have options to make it in your air fryer, make it in your pressure cooker, or make it in your slow cooker. And that is a whole lot of fun to me. Over 35,000 books ordered Thank since you. we launched. We're so excited about this. Meredith is our blue jean chef, but she has spent her entire professional life teaching us home cooks how to be better in the yeah, kitchen. Thank you. So all that is translated into this book. Let's get busy eating. What do you want to eat? What do you want to start with, David? There are so many things. Of course, sometimes you're eating things right out of one pot, and that is delicious and beautiful. But when you have to do pasta and make it in a separate pot, that's not as much fun. This, David, and help yourself if you'd like some. Well, you know what? I was just giving it a little stir there because it was simmering. Yes, this is a Pennsylvania Dutch chicken pot pie. Now, the Pennsylvania Dutch don't do the pastry on top. Yeah. They do these beautiful pot pie noodles Now, in this there. looks an awful lot like my chicken exactly. and dumplings. Exactly. It is almost like chicken and dumplings meet chicken pot pie, and you have a beautiful, here you go, look, a little garnish there, a oh, little yes, flurry. Please. So there you have a beautiful, warm meal for those nights. And again, you're not cooking these, these noodles in a separate pot. You're cooking these right in one pot. And the beauty of one pot mm -hmm. is there's only one pot to clean at the end mm. of the night. Mm -hmm. You were very brave to take mm. simmering stew mm -hmm. on live television and eat that. It was very brave. It was warm. You're a professional. You don't know what? Do that at home. I, I don't try this at home. Let it cool. That's amazing. Yeah, thank this you. This is the kind of thing that you clutch with both hands while you're eating right. it. Because it's just comforting. It's as comforting for your tummy as it is your soul. Well, I think so too. And thank this is you. really, really lovely. I can tell you 600 books are already gone. Remember, everything in our show today is on five pay, five pay, five pay. And David, this recipe here that you see, that can be done on a stovetop in a Dutch oven or in a pressure cooker. Which would be great. Same thing with this, I think is near and dear to your heart. Is this, this is, a short rib? This is the beef short rib ragu. Again, those noodles mm. cooked right in one pot so you don't have to dirty two pots all in one pot. That is a really, really real rule that I stuck to there. And mm -hmm. that right there mm -hmm. is what I want all the time. Mm -hmm. Make people mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if it comes with a shimmy shimmy, then I'm even right better. Right here. That's, a, that's the look on the set. But before we get there, how about we bust out the little happy day? All right. This Thank you. This is amazing. <laughs> so, you. so good. And that Thank tender, you. tender beef makes this Really lovely. Well, you know what? And again, this one is a, is a way you can make this in the pressure cooker or you can make it on the stovetop. Or I even do give you instructions on making the ragu itself by itself mm. in a slow cooker. It's so lovely. But David, it's not just even only main meals. It's also desserts. And what do you have first? Two, well, there are two desserts here. You pick the trifle or the pavlova. Let's start with the trifle. The trifle is something that's near and dear in my heart because, of course, this recipe actually came from, I'll find you that little picture. From your nana. Want. From my nana, who is uh, my mother's mother, of course, British, very British. I mean, you've never seen a more British-looking grandmother than this one, I don't think. At least <laughs> I never have. And nana used to make a trifle for me all the time, every time I'd come and visit her. So Does this she have is, a nickname for you? No, just Meredith, you know. You were just Meredith. No, I was Meredith. There was no other Meredith. It was just me. So this is Nana's trifle, and Nana used to put quite a bit of sherry in her trifle. I toned it down just a little bit, but boy, is that delicious. Nana does good work. One pot, of course, one dish to make this in. You're going to use one pot to make that custard, but mm. otherwise you build this dessert, and this is to me, that takes me back to my childhood every time I taste it. Mm. The leave room mm. for the pavlova, David, because the pavlova, to me, is something that is so fantastic, so easy to make. This is made on a sheet pan, one pan. You make this baked custard. You top it with the cream and the strawberries, and the pistachios go inside the pavlova and on top. It looks like a meringue. It is a meringue. And okay. a, a lot of people are not as familiar with pavlovas as I feel like they should be because it's easy to do such an impressive dessert like this. Check that out. Mm. It's light and yet satisfying. And the pistachios. And the pistachios. Give you a crunch. 
and the strawberries mm. and the chewiness of the meringue in the center. You see, these are all those one pot dishes really that we like. Wow. Not just main meals, but desserts too. Look at the deep dish pizza that you can make there. The deep dish pizza can be made in the air fryer or in the oven. Made, of course, in a deep cake pan, but really, really beautiful. You've got a gorgeous uh, blueberry and peach cobbler. You've got yes. pierogies and all kinds of goodies here. I do want to show the inside of the book because I know many of you are very interested to see the beautiful photography. You're also going to be excited to see the easy recipes. Remember, Meredith's same brand of no-nonsense, helping us feel comfortable in the kitchen that she does on the air. Translated right into this book. Here are those pierogies with the sauerkraut. So delicious. One I'm getting rave reviews from people on that one. And look at all the great, great recipes. Gorgeous color photos. Easy to follow instructions. Wow, look at that. Tex-Mex Tex skillet Mex. dinner. Yep, that's right. Yum. And even things like, you know, David, the burgers that we have here with the pimento cheese and the fries. That you oh, make, right over here. Take a look. You make on one sheet pan or in one air fryer. You can make all of that. And they are, let me tell you, burgers that people will talk about over and over again after dinner is done. Beautiful. Or the chicken with the orange, peppers, and zucchini. Mm -hmm. Made in one pot, made three different ways if you want to. Slow cooker or pressure cooker or right there on the What's stove What's in the slow cooker on the end here? Well, this, David, is something to me that is so seasonal right now. This is a beef and barley stew, and look how rich and beautiful oh. that is. That's the kind of meal Hello, that we gorgeous. want. This is the kind of comfort food, one pot meal that you are going to eat and enjoy really warm you this up is, on those nights this is it's a beef bit brisk and beef and barley beef and barley and one of the things i love about this recipe is stirring horseradish in at the end oh how nice which gives it such a nice little burst of flavor mm. Mm. that's a fireside meal huh you know what the only thing i need is uh, some crusty bread oh yes to dip in there all right that's lovely well thank you i'll take it right off oh please mm. i'm so excited about this hey can i tell you that we've now taken thirty-seven thousand orders over 2,000 in this show, and don't forget, this is on five easy payments today. Right. And it's the only day this month it'll be on five pay. I could not recommend Meredith's book more highly. I'm so excited for this Thank book. You. Thank you. So excited for what you've done and what you've achieved. This is amazing. Thank you, David. So exciting. Thank you. Uh, enjoy that beef burger. I will. Thank you. So good. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, hey, uh, we're headed over to. Oh, we've got more Le Creuset. Perfect for these one pot Yes, meals. it is. This one, These are the platters, so we'll just serve it on this. Mm. All right, Meredith, we'll see you in a bit. Oh, I almost knocked over the pot pie. All right. Hey, let's head over here. Chef Nate Collier is back with us with some beautiful Le Creuset stoneware platters. Right. But don't for a moment think these are just for serving. They're also for baking. Absolutely.